felt like we were together and bonding. Mm. Well, and that's what a crew is like. It's a family. I noticed it. And, you know, yeah. like, to be in a crew that's strong like this, like, sometimes it's going to have to take, like, maybe a year or two years to get in. Just getting it right, yeah. Because, like, it's very important to, like, get to know the people. You get to know them, they get to know you. Mm. And then you're in over a period of time because you've actually worked for it. Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official .com. You need the Kellervision app. 24 7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Talk about world music and street culture. Killer Cala Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Cala Podcast reporting live central London or as central as you need to be. This is international though, right here. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Hold tight, everybody has got the Keller Vision app. If you haven't got it, I don't know where you've been in the world. You know, you must have been on another orbit, like somewhere else. Just get get with it, get to get yourselves together, download it free, Android, iPhone. Um, all the regulars, you know, we ain't doing it without you guys. We love you all, and uh, it's super important that we maintain a heavy presence on the street. And where better to continue this saga of the three-part trilogy? Yeah, we've had Nirok, Angel, we've had Spire, we've had Siren. Incoming. For those of you who do not know what I'm talking about, the playlist is strong right now. And uh, for a little while, i build up to this awesome trilogy. We've had conversations about a crew that have been doing their thing and slowly emerging, and I ain't even bullshitting you. Know, I'm the hype beast right now, and I'm going to continue singing their praises. Inside the place, Yanko, Nurks, sacred letters inside. Boom, boom. More and more. <laughs> cool. I'll tell you what, you guys passing through, it's like a convoy. It's like, it's like, it's like Chicano freights passing through. How you doing? Yeah. Chat to Nurks about freights. <laughs> <laughs> Talk yeah. to Nurks about freights, yeah. is it? Sorry. What's going on, Nurks? This is like, this isn't your first rodeo. You good, my nah, brother? I've been here before. <laughs> um, you should have known better. Yeah. <laughs> Fair intro, no, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's all good. Like, being part of SL is a crew where... It's tattooing, graffiti, lettering, like it's those things combined. Mm. Um, if you're if you're just tattooing and you don't paint, you're you're not in SL because you have to do both or the other way around. Mm. So it's really good to be in a crew that everyone's like minded, on the same wavelength. But there's like no hierarchy. We're all in a, in the same boat. You know, like there's no one better than anyone else because, like some other people are gonna be good at other things and mm. other people good at others mm -hmm. you know so it's like it's like that you know do you find that yanko i mean well also big up yanko inside the place yeah style Yo. definer man love your love your lettering bro like a lot of, yeah because I, it's always the you. same man let me tell you bro mm. we're always doing the same letters yeah there are members mm. of the crew that you know their work so that's what we try to achieve. It's funny you say you know? that yeah. because we, because you know, in the other episodes, and I urge you all to check out the the, the uh, playlist. Uh, we do get into that subject of of how you guys, as a crew, merging the tattooing with the graffiti and defining lanes for yourselves. Like there's there's individuality within mm. these letters, and it's actually it's staggering to see how much di diversity there are within this field this genre of like your guys graffiti yeah, and tattooing. i mean there's we're all from different parts of the country and all from different countries as well so we've got some international people who like grew up in other countries and now are here in the uk yeah you know um we're all based in different cities we've all had different experiences with graffiti tattooing and lettering mm. you know so i think that's a beautiful part of it that we're all so different, but we're also very similar mm. at the same time as well. And we all push each other. We always, uh, you know, mm. it's, if if we feel that something, like, someone can do better, we push. That's mm. what it's about, you know, like, setting standards, making noise out mm. so everyone knows who we are. Yanko, we're back. Hustle, you. bro. Yeah, hustle. Yeah, that's what that's we it. do. That's, you know? that's what it's about, hustle. Only with good lettering, though. All the lettering done proper by people that they know what they're talking about. You know, mm -hmm. when you go to a person, you're like, Oi, what are you up to? I'm doing lettering. What lettering? And when you show them, they know. 
Mm-hmm. So that's why you need to be doing that stuff, man. Do, what do you, you think? You need to be confident about like the whole approach to the situation, you know. Yanko, do you Free think? A, Yanko, do you think there is like a level of tutorial, like introducing people to this 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 style? Do, do you find yourself explaining that a bit? Nah, sure. People help each other out, but bottom line, it's um, a matter of years' experience, bro. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, We've been sure. doing that stuff a long time. So if you expect some levels, I don't know. I mean, mm. Danny's been painting walls for five years, but he's amazing. Mm. But no, nah, you, you yeah, just need to be he's like all hard. day doing that, you know? He's, he's pushing hard because like, he's um, up north and he's doing his thing. And he's, Burner. he's working hard. Yeah, he does. He does like, yeah. He's lettering. Is, is you know it's pushing and it's good f- for me to see as well because I'm used to tattooing as well I've been painting a lot longer than I've been doing tattooing mm. but for me now it's about pushing that and seeing like someone else in the same crew push something like that it's, it's a good motivation and you know there's there's all this like motivations from other places inspirations from other places people you meet people like you you don't meet in person but you know their work you know because you've seen on other people's skin <laughs> and, and walls and yeah can you clock people like when that, you got yeah. yo they're on that they're, they're kind, kind, yeah, yeah yeah because you know you, if you know one's work so well it's like mm. a graph but the thing is with graph you know whose work it is because it's a tag mm. whereas tattooing it's a little bit uh, more discreet because it's words you know so it's sometimes but it's if you know the person's work well you you more or less have an idea who did you know mm. that was the style isn't it mm. do you it's the same people well yeah and I was just going to say this because of, and it's a question that I've raised to a couple of the guys in the previous podcast is defining you your letters as a writer and translating the same style and energy into tattooing some people think it's one and the same, but only recently, and I say this, and there's probably loads of tattooists and writers out there that have been doing it. I'm not taking and discrediting anyone, but only recently with the sacred letters stuff have I actually noticed the correlation, the mm. relationship between individual writers, their style, and the tattoos themselves. Would, it, would that be the case, do you reckon, Yanko? That's a sick crew, bro. Sacred lettering, I'm proud, mm. repping that all day. Mm. These people, when we paint the wall, we link up like on a jump 10 people and I'm just like looking around and I'm just inspired. Mm. That's when I get my inspiration from, mm. from events like that, bro. You know, I don't watch it other people's work. Oh, my crew, they're like the top people. Mm-hmm. Damn, you're talking about tattoos, bro, man. Mm. Uh, don't, don't get me started like with all the angel, New York, bro, man. Yeah. Spire is yeah, that, that original, too. bro. That's original. If you're original, if you have style, then mm. that's good. Talk to me about the members of the crew because Spire did try and count them out and, uh, you know, respectfully, he, he gave it a good shot. But <laughs> <laughs> give us some names because people need to know who's in the crew, man. You know, you've got Grace, who's um, my... Tattoo mentor, I'm her apprentice. Angel, yeah. Yeah. So she's pushing Angel hard. Angel Grace. She's pushing hard and, you know, she's militant. Yeah. Like, if if she's very sh- strict, she's very much like, you will do this now sort of thing. But mm. it's all for the best. Like, for me, like, ever even before I got into tattooing, even before I was interested, I had some friends who were tattooing, I would sometimes visit them. And in the shop, I knew straight away, like, you're going and it's like, you know, it's not a namby pamby environment. It's mm. like, it's like it's it's hard working in industry, mm. you know. And from a young age, I put that into my graph, and then Angel you know, kind of pulled it. Yeah, out. yeah. Meeting Angel mm. is a good is a good thing. But you know, we've got other people like Siren. Mm. We got yeah, you know, it. you know, other members from his the energy South on Coast. pieces are crazy. Like. Yeah, and it's black and grey mm. as well. It's mm. crazy, crazy yeah, good. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's detail. Yeah, he he's he's really got the, it's he he's he's worked out the the shine on that silver. And yeah, the, literally. And the grey, yeah. You know. Legend. Yeah. yeah. yeah he is, literally. <laughs> but then, like, also with, like with like the more graph stuff, like everyone everyone does, kill it. Like Nero, is like like he spent time on and in the south coast. Like that's where I'm originally from, and like so we got that kind of connection from from painting in a similar similar place, not the exact same place. Mm. 
for a similar place, you know, and that's a good motivation and a good mm. thing to have, you know. Because, like, in graph, for me, like, when you see people's pieces and you know who they are personally, but you aren't there when you paint, it's kind of like another connection, mm. you know. Mm. So who else is this? So those are the king, king contenders that you can check out on podcasts. Who else have we got that we need to big up? That Neos, on the podcast? bro. Big up all them, bro. Tommy. Yeah. Neos. Neos. Bro. Dave. Danny. Connor. Burner. Youth, wireless letters, killer from yeah. Leeds. If you want lettering from that, yeah, he's a bad man spot. as well. Yeah. Jesus. Man, yeah, I've seen his stuff. Inspiring, yeah. bro. Cold. Yeah. Super clean. Yeah. And then we've got like Dave from Bournemouth as well. Like he's, mm-hmm. he was like he was the first graph writer I ever met. So like that's that's a good that's a big thing for me, and he's in the crew. And when like you see like how he does his lettering, it's very clean, very crisp. Mm. You know, and his attention to detail. Is the same, and the way I've seen him paint and draw, his his way of intelligence of building letters, not just letters, in general mm. general drawing, mm. and painting. It's it's very intricate. It's very like you know, this is the that's that, that this is this. <laughs> you know, like that's how it. You can't help but be inspired by that. You guys are in the WhatsApp group, just ping 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 the whole time, right? Push. Yeah, we're bro. What we're doing. We don't even chat shit, bro. No, you know? just pictures and nah, nah, that's nah it, like, man. Literally. Even when we're talking stuff Push like it. we're talking about it seriously, bro. That's not playing games, you know. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. lettering for people that do letters all day, it's a different story, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. Maybe for like the majority of people, it ain't gonna be the same. But for me, when you're talking about lettering, I take it personally. Hell yeah! All yeah. my crew does, you mm-hmm. know. So yeah, that's we, why we take mm-hmm. what we do like very. You know, very seriously. We're we're a fun bunch. Mm. You know, we're like we love a laugh and this and that. But we take it very seriously when it's time to work. Well, because you're pushing, creative. you're pushing something that exactly. is. We're talking about calligraphy here. We're talking about chicana. We're talking about you know the 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 crazy ones. Yeah, and all the kind of levels of mythology that come in with you know symbolic lettering and you're pushing the envelope. You're, you're mm. trying to create something and are creating something that is contributive to historical references, right? Yeah, exactly. No, that's, you know that's how it here. looks. You let me know if you like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's looking good, bro. Yeah, you know what I do. You know what I do. Um, Yanka, tell us about your origin, where you came from, and like what you know, how you grew up. What was, what was your circumstances? Give us a story. I'm a writer, bro. <laughs> Bombing quotes since I was 11 or whatever. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. You know, different crews and stuff. For me, lettering is a special thing. Either the dope stuff or just nah. I don't associate with people that don't do the proper thing, mm. you know? So it's always been like that. It's just a mm. matter of attitude, you know? Yeah, I think... I that's like a, proper stuff. I think that's the key thing, like attitude. Like attitude and respect, it goes, nah, it, yeah. it goes a long way. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll say this, and I, and, and I think it resonates with anyone that's watched the podcast. There's there's a few driving forces, right? So there's Nirok that I think embodies a, a an energy in his uh, tattooing and his art that is of an OCD level that I think mm. he he he's sim- he's symbolic to the crew. I think the attitude comes. I think the um, the drive and tenacity. I think certainly comes from Spire. He's he's you know he cut his chops from day in London, but I, th- I think I've got to hold that attitude. The the, the charge and aggression on you, Yanko. I've got to put it out there, bro. Yeah. I think, I think so odd. Yeah, I think you you're like so the, I, you know, if you want the engine of the crew of like people of, of kicking ass, yeah, I think man. it's got Yanko's up there, bro. You're, the, you're, you're the Lamb- <laughs> it's so funny, isn't it? <laughs> you're, you're, you're the Lamborghini. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, man. That's I, it. Yeah, the whip, no. I think there's a level of whip cracking. I always wanted yeah. like a proper crew, bro. I, yeah. I was exactly. painting graffiti man like fucking almost 20 years now, you know, mm-hmm. almost, just about. And I always wanted a big crew. And now I, I got a crew like, oh, yeah. that's it, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, just watch watch what's going to happen. You know, mm-hmm. all of them people are going to elevate so much. Yeah. Nerds, man. Just yeah. crazy okay. shit, man. Look at these walls. I can't you believe that's big ego. Just goes, don't big goes home. say nothing, yeah. you know. Say yeah. less. That's that's SL, you but, know. You know, like, uh, there's there's reason why I paint big. But it's it's more or less I like it because I, I feel like you paint you really express yourself and people know mm. you know you for that you know like mm. and you know being inspired by like you know west coast graffiti like msk of course kog uh. 
you know, like so many other crews from that part of the world, and they pay massive, mm. man. Let's like, get into if, that. If, if, <laughs> if, if, yeah. if, 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 Mm-hmm. Much, much bigger. Like, you know, you've got Sabres, LA, Riverpeace. Crazy. And, like, that. But it's not just that. There's other people mm. who are doing it at this moment in time. Mm. You know, like... Um, yeah, let's get into the historical reference know. points here because, obviously, rest in peace, Norm, Triggs... Yeah, for sure. You know, MSK, and, and, and there's there's other... Because, again... Like, you know, Boog, Boog. Boog, hold tight, Boog, rest in peace. Like, give us a rundown of, like, how the historical reference points in this, you know, from a US chapter point of view. Like, I think there was a guy, Chaz, some... You may or may not know his lettering. He was, like, the, he's kind of like an OG of, like, Cholo lettering. And, like, he goes way back. He's still doing it today. But like, he's, he's, I think, like, maybe 65, 70 mm. now. Mm. He's still doing it now. But, like, in terms of, like, nowadays, like, people doing... Obviously, he's still doing it. There's so there's so many people that are like pushing the limits, who have like you know inspired me and Young Kai together. Mm. But there's so many other people around the world, and maybe they don't even know it in the, in even mm. in their graffiti. Mm-hmm. You know, New York mentioned the the category of like the MSK was in the top tier, and there was other cr- related crews, and you've got to go up the hierarchy of mm. what were then what were the other crews you mentioned? The whole like, Iron Rock team. Like, yeah, bro, I that's like, American stuff, bro. Yeah, that's not how it goes here. Yeah, you know? the Australian guys, like you know, like you know, TMD, but then like if you, I you're, like them, dirty thirty, you know yeah, them. Yeah. Yeah. that's a proper crew. Yeah. yeah, but then like if you go in like Chicago or some shit, yeah, crazy. Yeah. If you go yeah. in like oh. MSK, like you got AWR, you know, mm. f- you know Norm's crew, like Angel Survives, like Mad. Norm. What about lettering, bro? Yeah. Say about lettering but tattoo. Lettering, How many crews so do many. that in the world now? You know, lettering yeah. tattoo. Got, there are some like, people that do script, it. Italians, script. French yeah. people in Europe rapping proper. Mm. Man, apart from yeah. that, what Mexico? You've been there. You yeah, know what's I've up. been there. And man, great experience. And I tell you something, they have got some of the best graffiti writers in the world, <laughs> right now. Sick. And. Mm-hmm. They they do it in a different way, but they like you may or may not have heard of them, but some of them over there they work so hard, like they they treat it as if with the graph and the tattoo religion, in, yeah, like a religion, like literally, like you know, like that's all, all they do. But they're very, you know, they work hard for what they want. You, you know? painted there, yeah. <laughs> but I, I find you did well, bro. I find that because I painted there. I don't want to like give too much away from it because like well, overly inf- overly influenced. No, you. N- more about how it was the experiences yeah. because like I kind of had an idea. I did my research, but for anyone planning to go or has been, maybe they or would like to go like once like done this like podcast and it's out, but like. I don't want to say too much because it's about like I want to set like how it's going to be in your imagination. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. like I I didn't really have a I kind of had a clue, but I was like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna I want to go and see what it's actually like from my own perspective. And if I say something, someone else is gonna have a kind of totally different way of thinking about it. You know. This is incredibly enlightening. You like know? for for anyone that's like me that's watch that's coming in on this and really just the Pandora's box of getting an understanding of. Where the origins of you know that this style of mm. writing, tattooing, graffiti is emanating from is, is super interesting. Yeah, but I think like also that like, a lot of Latin America and Asia as well, like Philippines, yeah. um, Thailand, they do a lot of like South of China, they yeah. do a lot of. Man, in like China, this. I've seen some amazing yeah. work. So it's not and Korea blowing. as well, right? Yeah, Siren it's not. It's Korea. not Mind just. Blowing. It's not just like. Like South America, America. It's like he's all over. Like I got one, one guy I grew up with in Bournemouth. He's mm. from South Africa, Sace, and his lettering was incredible. And he was from Cape Town, <laughs> and it was like it was like bang on like, like this kind of lettering, mm. and like again he was a massive influence, and he still is. Bearing in mind he's like six thousand miles away, mm-hmm. in a totally different co- continent, totally different country, totally different environment. But you know we still speak, and that is amazing to like grow up with someone like that who pushes you so much. Mm. You mentioned Yanko the, the the desire and need for that crew mm. mentality. Um, 
you know, when you're doing your thing solo and you have this idea of like marrying tattooing with graffiti, <laughs> you must have been like mad to have all of a sudden be in a circle of people that were doing their thing and you the contribution and movement within the crew, that must have been elevating. Nah, no, man. I got a proper crew from back in the day. Okay. It's a couple yeah, yeah. of guys, you know. I'm not going to say, say no. nothing about yeah, it, it's but it's a you, proper it? crew, you know. Yeah. Okay, so this was, so it's not the first, this isn't your first rodeo. Nah. <laughs> but tattooing, it's tattooing, bro. It's just mm. different application. And for mm. people like us, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. So when I'm saying like, free hunt and blah 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 that's what i mean it's just the same way we do the thing mm -hmm. mm. it doesn't matter if you're spraying a wall if you're doing a tattoo it's just so similar bro you know but to yeah. many people that do tattooing and I, i'm only hazarding i guess it certainly is the case for me who can't do that shit at all um that the, the idea of just showing up and doing what you would do on a wall or on a body that's still quite that's quite alien that's like yeah, yeah that's because grand. like you have the anatomy to think about you have like yeah. different parts of the body yeah and you have to get the the photography of your work bang on because you're actually documenting it for a clientele yeah in your animal portfolio it's not just like you know joe public this is yeah for someone's yeah personal yeah thing. and also like it's a personal memory um especially like i'm new to it i'm i'm learning a lot mm like we all are, you know, and I find that, you know, in tattooing, in graffiti, you have to embrace another art form, which is photography. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to document what you do. Mm. And I find it's even more important in tattooing because, like, you know, you might do that tattoo and you're not going to see that person again. You, know, that as well. you know, like, uh, and I find, you know, to, like, he, like Yanko said, like, freehanding is very important but you know if you do custom lettering it's a is it's free handing yeah. a culture in itself with tattooing like is that i don't know no other way us? man yeah. i tried to put stencils bro like two times it didn't work out you <laughs> know i like to do freehand lettering <laughs> stencils are not for me go, man. go, go <laughs> or go home basically the you know reason, I mean? the no, reason, it's just style bro yeah, you need to yeah. have your touch you, you know exactly like the reason why I did a couple of stencil tattoos when when I'm starting out is just to know the process, mm -hmm. is to know what I'm doing, mm -hmm. you know. But but even then, you can still freehand it because you're gonna change some little things. Oh, maybe that looks good because what looks good on paper or, or what you're happy with on paper, what the client mm -hmm. looks, likes on paper, it's gonna look totally different on the skin. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you know, yeah, you have yeah. to maybe make mm -hmm. arrangements. You know, you're gonna have to maybe change a couple of things. I'm sure younger has done. You know, nah, don't like the kind of guy that's gonna no, do no, that. No. I think you should do only freehand yeah. stuff, bro. Your I mean letters is, are very specific, free, you know. <laughs> but with the freehand, what you yeah. do is, you know, you're you're working with the anatomy yeah. of the body sometimes. Yeah, right? flow, bro, yeah, flow, exactly. style. You know about that, you know. Exactly. <laughs> but there is an yeah. argument, and I get that this is what I'm getting in. There's a balance here that's um, on approach, and I feel like if you're getting a sacred letter tattoo. You're not only getting that hallmarked, but you're also mm. getting the style of the artist within the crew. Of course. You're yeah, paying it, for that's what you're paying craft, for. You know. Yeah. So if you're getting that, then can you imagine someone? Then you're a winner, bro. Yeah, you man. Know? Just, <laughs> now I'm starting to think, yo, has anyone ever actually had a whole arm? Yeah, yeah of letter? course. So what everyone's People done that drink. That's yeah. mad. So people legs, like, arms, bro, sleeves, whatever, you know, we're doing back pieces, so chest pieces. What you're saying, saying is like an actual like SL. Yeah, so saying? like so, you'll have yeah, SL Nero, piece, yeah. You'll have yeah. each one of your pieces on. Yo, I think I've even seen Euro doing some pieces like that, bro. That's crazy. Just these are like special people, do you know what I yeah, mean? Man. That's more yeah. than like. It's not about tattooing can get your money. It's not about that. No. That's always a different thing, man. Mm. It's levels. L is levels. It's awesome. He's setting up levels, so that's what says. So, God, you know? Yanko, you, yeah. you need to... You need, I need, like, deep. motivational speeches, bro. Yeah. Like, you're mm. killing it, family. Yeah, literally. <laughs> He's mm. on it. Like, I can yes. imagine the, the levels that you guys... When you're together, but I you, saw it today, but you must be just, like, but 100 miles an hour all you know, the fucking time. You know what it is, though? It's like, because we're together as a, as a crew, as a unit of when when the first jam was like when we all first met up and we thought like this is ah, it this super is super fucking sick bro and, like when london yeah when when yeah. when that happened i went home and i wanted to like i, I want to draw every day i want every hour like i love it but i wanted to do it even more then 
mm. when I went home because it was like so, it was it felt right. It felt like we were together and bonding. Mm. Well, and that's what a crew is like. It's a family. I noticed it. And you know, yeah. like to be in a crew that's strong like this, like sometimes it's gonna have to take like maybe a year or two years to get in. Just getting it right. Yeah. Because like sometimes like they, they not just SL but other crews have another. They want to see, like, if they want to recruit someone, they want to see how they're actually, like, outside the graph mm. sometimes, you know. Mm. And I feel like it's very important to, like, get to know the people. You get to know them, they get to know you, mm. and then you're in over a period of time because you've actually worked for it. Like, worked for it, yeah. yeah like yeah, a prospect yeah. would. Yeah, like a discipline. And, like, this is uh, like a way of discipline because, like, you know, what, what what's hard earned is meant to be. And also, I think that this might be me sounding a bit romantic, but I think the tattoo mythology, like the the way, in, the practice mm. of tattooing, I think that that's that's quite a what you've just said there. That like you're recruiting, quote unquote. You're you're you you have to you have to prove what you've to, got. What you got. That is definitely a, a tattoo trait from you know biker days and before, isn't it? Like that's mm. a that's a policy that they like to uphold, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean like in tattoo shops like, as an apprentice, like it can be hard and but like in even sometimes even if you don't know an apprentice, so like, there's people in tattoo shops that are like, you know, so hardcore on it. Like mm. you know, like what's your experience with that? Nah, fuck that man. I got apprenticeship and everything. It's not about that. No. It's about pulling up them court letters, you know. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Mm-hmm. That's but, why like, I've been hard. painting graffiti, yeah. man. It all starts with graffiti. Tattoo is amazing, a lot of money and everything, but no, it's not about that, man. Yeah. Graffiti writers are graffiti writers, yeah? yeah? That's why, you know, his tattoo is looking same like the wall, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's what it's all about. <laughs> so, Booking, yeah, so you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it all has to kind of correlate. Of course, yeah. man. It's but, just practice and skills. Mm, but I all. find, like, with, with graph especially, it's good to be versatile and, you know, have a few different styles under your belt, like... Say if you go to the wall, wherever, whatever spot, regardless, regardless what time of day, regardless where, like if the wall's a little bit funny shape, try and work with that shape mm. of the wall. Like it's not be like oh we're gonna go home now, like try and actually work with it. You're like you're gonna learn something. So true, you know? and I guess you get that with tattooing all the time, eh? Because nothing's flat on the body, mm. really. You know. Mm. Nah, I I don't know. I mean, for me, it's a bit weird to to talk about it because. In terms of lettering and tattoos, I really don't use stencils, you know. I mean, yeah. I've tried it a couple so of times. So freehand is just the thing, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, look at markers, bro. Your yeah. skin is clean, you know. Yeah. And after that, we draw it yeah. up, you know, that's yeah. all. Like What I was saying is, like, you know, that sometimes like a part of the body offers a really good space for a certain mm. type of lettering tattoo or a certain mm. type of tattoo, you know, like that... Like the good, the ones that Angel does, like when they're like behind the neck and they like branch out to the shots to the collarbone with the sharp edges. Yeah, like yeah, that's, that's like that's that's what I'm talking about, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, and that that again is using use of all space as you go. Mm. I find it's important, yeah. you know, and. Yeah, with three liner, yeah, the whole yeah. thing. No, that's a joke, you know. But in, you in, don't do it like that. But Angel but Man, her stuff are next level. Yeah, for sure. She pushes hard to cover that much area. In it's just time, insane. Yeah. In terms of tattoos, you know, like graffiti mm. is graffiti, whatever. We've all been doing graffiti, but tattooing Angel, bro. Crazy madness. Mm. Yeah, so she's... if when you're with people like that, man, I'm just like having a good time, bro. You know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm just yeah, chilling. Yeah, yeah. Really? And that that is the most important thing. Yeah, is to have a good time with with your friends, or if you go painting alone, it's good to like just enjoy it and just you know like be lucky that you're that 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 you can do it. Mm. You know, and yeah, I think it's think having fun, enjoying it, having a laugh is the best thing about it. Mm. It's right. so funny when nobody's showing them faces, though, yeah? <laughs> Come on, bro, we're, yeah. we're a crew, you know? Why is nobody showing them face, you know? <sighs> Damn, that's weird, isn't it? Think about all them people, you know? Mm. How do you mean? How do you mean? I, yeah. I mean it because it's not about personality. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, all of them letters, man, people been been doing that, you know? It's not like that we're the best or like we're... Uh, no, it's just about putting in the yeah, work, about, yeah. making it happen, you it's know? It's about... The, and being organized. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's about... 
like you know there's many reasons why people don't like to show their faces when they paint when they tap because it's not just graffiti like there's many other type of art industries where people like it's not about them it's about their work that's what they yeah. show yeah well, it's, you know it's daft punk it's yeah. it's the, it's what you're hearing or what you're seeing it matters um and i think I mean, and also celebrate the people that, you know, do want to show their faces. But I just, yeah. I, I I think the, it's part of the reason why the podcast is the way it is, is because they, I think it's very rare that these serious discussions are had about things like lettering. You know, like how often yeah. do people, it's crazy to think that there's people like you guys to the normal public that study letters to this degree. Mm. But then they have to, because you're going to be putting on someone's body. It's so important. Exactly, like one little, one little thing. We're all guilty of it, but one little like line or a sort of funny angle or something. Like this. <laughs> when it looks off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. it's important to like you know try and get everything like crispy clean and mm. crispy like you know like all the line, you know everything a certain way. Mm. You know if you have to if you have to draw up the design five times, draw it up five times. You have to do it ten times, do it ten times. Because, mm. you know, it's not also about, like, it's going on something else. It's for you to know that you did it well. Because, like, with me, like, you know, like, you're doing the work and you want to feel good that you did the work to a good standard that not only they're happy with, but, like, you're happy with it and you're happy to show other people, mm. you know. That's why it has to be your work, you know. You need to promote yourself with tattoos that are good tattoos, you know. Yeah, but there's a learning curve. Not as like well. the whole thing, yeah. man. We're not interested in that. There's a know? learning curve, though, isn't it? And I think you're, because you're like you said, you're 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 building up your repertoire now, and it works. Mm. There must be like these moments of like uh, refinement at every juncture of. Every yeah, tattoo. I mean, it's like it's it's like learning graphic again, but it isn't. Mm. You know, like I I have the knowledge of certain things, but at the same time. Not learning something that is on like I always think that the spray can and graffiti is kind of the opposite way because if the can if you like you're doing something that's temporary mm. right with tattooing it's permanent right and with with graffiti you, when you paint you don't physically touch the wall it's the paint just settling on the wall from the can mm. when you draw it's going on when you tattoo it's going in mm. you know they kind of yeah. It's like scratch bombing. <laughs> yeah, they're up. Op- yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. the closest compatible. They're, yeah, it literally is. But they're so similar, but they're so different as well, mm. you know? But you can work them together. I think it's all the same. To me, personally, it doesn't matter at all. Mm. The application is just about like, if you're talking about lettering, lettering, if it's about tattoo, to me, a good tattoo is a clean tattoo. And it, and it's a tattoo that you heals know, and well. that's black as well. <laughs> yeah, it's a, so it's a good ta- it's a tattoo that heals well like over time. My tattoos you know. heal in about three, four, five days. Man, my tattoos are healed. So you know, I think that's good. Is that a process? Is that what five, four, five days it takes to, to heal a tattoo? Oh, well, that's how I'm healing, bro. Yeah. You know, I'm looking after my tattoos, but yeah, yeah. in about four or five days, tattoo is healed. Mm. So yeah. depends on that's it on a few different things at skin the person who you did or how well do they look after it this kind of stuff but if it's clean it's good same applies for a graffiti piece though mm. isn't it like when you go to a wall you know you approach a wall or like a, to whatever you're approaching mm. just do the, the clean stuff make it look good and already people are going to be like mind blown you mm. know but tattoo and graffiti to me doesn't make much difference so I don't know. I guess I guess it's about people what they want to do mm-hmm. and styles yeah. and stuff. And like you know, me and Yanko are sitting here. We got, you know, different ways of thinking about it because we're two, obviously two different people, but we've got similar ways of thinking about it. You know, we've got our own personal experiences of graffiti and tattooing, and you know, where we've travelled to and this and that. But at the same time, we're sitting here right now. We're doing a very similar thing. The same thing. Yeah. Um. Know. It's a formation that kind of reminds me of like you know, bands, music bands, where there's different people playing different things, but ultimately they're sending the same message. Yeah, I mean, they're all, do, they're all in the same room. Like, you've got, like, the drama and then the guitarist, whatever. Yeah. Two different things, but they're the same. Uh, yeah, when we busted that big SO, remember that? Yeah, Last yeah. Year, yeah. It was me and you and Dripper. Yeah. And Spire. 
But That's yeah. it, really, isn't it? You're like that was massive. Yo, we painted like a big thing, you know. Roadside, bro. Yo, nah, no talking. Just come on, let's go. Boom, <laughs> let's go. We're doing. We don't even know each other. That's crazy. Yeah, as easy as that. But I find that's a very beautiful thing in, in what we do. Like, you know, you can be so far removed from someone else, like by location mm. or even by, you know, like so many different things of personality. But because you share the same thing, you're connected. Mm. Mm. That's yeah, sick, you know? um, And I think like having an environment and also like being in London, being in the UK, it's like we're, we're doing something that's different to a lot of what other people are doing, especially crew wise. Mm. So it's like, it's, you know, it's a fresh wave yeah. of like new, new things, you know, and hopefully it's inspiring people mm. to like. People, take get, an to us, exactly. people get, get to know us, bro. People get to know us. Especially on the Kid Killer podcast. Yo. Come on, yeah. son. Yeah. But that, that's sick. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's how I see it, mm. you know, but then someone else can see it a different way, but that's just how I see it. I'm not ashamed of anything, though, yeah. you know. Maybe it could be like a tattoo that I did. It could be like uh, some wall that I bumped, you know, nothing legal, bro. You know, I don't care about that. I'm not ashamed of nothing, you mm. know. It's just letters. It's the same. Yeah, the le- and just going back to the letters thing as well, there's a real, there's a, the attention to that. And that's kind of going with what you were saying, Nurx, is that you're all in it for the one common goal, which is making letters relevant. Mm. And making them fresh, like for tattooing, for graffiti, mm. for just hand styles. Yeah, I find hand styles, bro. It's a correlation. Yeah, for sure. Um, what do you reckon the future is for SL? I mean, we were speaking about earlier, just more link ups and more like you know, you know, really bonding. Cause like we're all in different places, so it's some. A few of us live in the same parts of the country or the same city, but we're all kind of like far removed so whenever we get to see each other in person it's it's a big deal you know and we're more, it must feel up. crazy like to be with your your peoples and then all of a sudden be in this that you must walk away feeling like yo that that 10 miles high with energy that's me bro <laughs> so that's the, like that's like why i said like when when the first thing came out, i went home and wanted to draw 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 because it was like that mm. you madness know. i know your work beforehand yeah, I, I know your I shit know before well. that bro crazy now, like if you link up with people like that, it's like, I don't um, know, it's just energy, you know, mm. it's good. And I think it's good to link up mm. with people. But then at the same time, it's good to, I think, paint solo because you learn your own ways. You know, like, I do like to go paint. So I, like, I like the same on you know, of course, bro, loves, you know, you just go, you smash it, it like, you, know? you know. It's like that. But then, like, when you're in the tattoo studio, you're never... S- you might be maybe the only artist in there, depending on the hour or the time of the day, mm. whatever. But, like, in a tattoo shop, is busy. People, like, you know, mm. music blasting. People, like, you know, kind of, like, talking loud over the music to communicate, mm. whatever. Um, but what do you think about that? I like people to know what they're talking about. If it's about tattoos, I need people to have seen my work. That's why you're coming mm. to talk to me, you know. And I can see that being That's like the it. future, man. Like yeah. I, I think yeah. the, the the idea of like each one of you being on someone's arm, yeah. and each one being distinguishably different. But like, That's how yeah. it goes, man. Yeah, that's but like when you said like, what's the future? Like maybe like we've all got our own ambitions personally. Like just seeing more SLs in like different cities, different countries, mm. whatever you know, like. We got Dripper from Australia, mm. and like you know, for those that know or don't know Dripper's work, he is like literally a machine. Like he, I, I know him really well, and he paints every piece very different and same with tattoos. And I have never seen him stress once. Nah, he just knows. He's chilling, man. He's Come always on. chilling. I can't he knows exactly. Nah, like, nice. No, but like he's man. he's just next level. Like, just Dripper, like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's 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 he's, he's a good guy. Mm-hmm. The whole crew is crazy. I can't even believe how like we ended up eventually. You know, we're chatting like mm. one year later on now. Yeah, after a year, we put up so many walls. Come on, bro, think about what mm. we paint, man. Me and you, yeah, yo, busy, busy, busy. You know, you're being busy. Every crew is going very well. You know, 
Um, yeah, and, and it blatantly <laughs> it blatantly seems like the future's bright. And if mm. I, again, like you know, we've got a trilogy going on here. So if you haven't checked out any of the others, the crew's on it. And this is this is just a small portion yeah. of the chapter that's of what's going on with SL at the moment. Of course, as we know, there's other crews out there. There's other people doing it. But for the UK, yeah. my my money is on these these guys. For I mean, there's other lettering tattoo crews like LM, lettering Melandro. <laughs> You know, they, they crush it. Big shout to Izzy as well, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Izzy. She's killing it, man. Got to give it up for Izzy, man. Yeah, but, like, I would like to... Another thing, though, when you say what's the future, you know, to, like, maybe other people are going to try it and see if they want... Like, because lettering, this kind of lettering is different to classic graph writing, you know, with the, you know, the arrows and the stuff like that. Mm. So maybe it would be cool just to see, like, so one person just be like... I'm going to maybe try that one day and then see what happens. Because that's what I did. That's what I was already younger did. Same. You know, so... Yeah, man. Does it feel more progressive, like a little bit more free? Yes and no. Mm. Yes and but no. you do it all day. That's yeah. the difference, man. I'm feeling brainwashed, you know? Mm. <laughs> all the time when I sit down, like, to draw or, like, whatever, you know? And, like, it's just always the same. Yeah, when, when my mind is in a way... Yeah. Like to draw something or paint something, it's going like a million miles an hour. Fixes the problem. Oh. Yeah, but like, like, I'm always thinking, oh, what can I add? What can I take away? What can I change? You know, like, const- literally constantly. Like a puzzle. Like a beehive. Like a beehive. <laughs> yeah, like the like ideas like flying in and out, you know. Going, like, Mad. But you know, I think I think a lot of people are, are like that as well. Mm. So. Are you like that? It's getting better now, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For me, at least, it's getting better. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I must. I guess when you're doing it in your head, it must be like a lot to consider. You're because mm-hmm. there's so much, you know, shoot offs in the letters and re. Always different, bro, but always yeah. the same. You mm. know, the style. So when you see people's work from far away, and you know that's the person, that style. Yeah, I mean, style we, matters. You we've know, we've all got our own ways of doing it. We like, we've all got like, say, like a like a base of when we go paint but then sometimes we'd switch it up like I said Drip does I think I think pretty much everyone in the crew does mm. switch it up you know like Siren's got his own way of switching it up mm. yeah Siren's um, sick man. And Siren's like an OG yeah, like man. but like it's so it's kind of like you know when you see the same kind of letters but they're not the same kind of letters that's what it is yeah yeah that's, it. that's what it is yeah. you know we all, always we all push each other Maybe. Once support. one fucking my my home is here, mistaken Spire's piece for mine. Yeah. Spire did an SL, <laughs> and my guy started messaging me, "Yo, what what are you doing down there?" You know, <laughs> and I was like, "Yo, that's not my piece." And they're like, "Yo, you did Yo. that." <laughs> and it was it, Spire all that, the way. That, 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 I can't imagine same, that happening. Same like, letters, bro. I just can't imagine that happening. Not not the same, but like so much like similar mm. similar in style that when you see them, it. it's like. Oh, it's insane. That's man. an influence thing, though, isn't it? You know, yeah. when you've yeah, got. I don't piece. know what that is, bro. That's, some, the, that's the shit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's a coincidence. Yeah. Look. But it's a good one. Yeah. It's a happy yeah, coincidence. Yeah, I mean, like, paint. Yeah, I want to put more S. We, we all want to put more SLs about, and that, you know, like. It's funny, though, because I feel like when you're doing it, you're like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Like, it feels like good. Like, when we all met, we did a massive one. Mm. And like we've all done like SLs like where where we where we're based and mm. places we've been to, you know. Yeah. So like when I was in, in Mexico City I did an SL on like this like, top of this like building with a skyline. Part of the skyline is the skyline is oh, so much sick. different here. Yeah. And it's boiling hot, man. Uh literally th- the concrete, like cooking my cans, literally. Shit. And um, it was just felt good to put an SL there, like so high up somewhere, mm. with a nice photo. That's um, shit. That that's sometimes isn't that crew know. defining? That's just, that's nah, what you that want. That was a sick piece, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, there are like obviously a couple of things, you know, about the whole crew that people have been putting in the work. You know, we yeah. don't really talk about it. If you know, you know. Mm. If you know, you know. But you know, there are some pieces in my head that are. Yeah. But have you got like one proper? You know, like one like it may. Like an SL or just a Yanko, like if you got one that like tells a story that's like, very like. I got meaning. many photos, you know, yeah, yeah. like I got printed photos, bro, and everything, like long time ago when we were doing stuff. Just, it's good to be able to 
keep a memory, you know, mm. of the experience yeah. you had because graffiti is a special experience. Mm. Same like tattoo, mm. you know, it's just setting up and doing the thing properly. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, and like I think with tattooing, like, you can have some really good conversations with like the people you're doing. Mm. You know, whether or not with graffiti you yeah. can't. <laughs> but <laughs> with pants, I don't know. Yeah, with yeah. graffiti you can, but with tattooing, like you're with someone for a certain mm. with a prolonged period of time. Mm. Whether or not you know the person or not, like you might not know that person, you just walked in, but like, you know, you 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 know, you talk about things and you know, and it makes the session easy for them, yeah. but nicer for you as well. Like, that's mm. how it is. I can imagine know. in the future there's going to be like the SL Tattoo Studios. <laughs> there's going to be like, yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, like, there have been chats it. about that, bro. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's no, a sticker right there on that table. We've got yeah, man, see, I'm branded up already. There's one behind yeah. you too. If you're listening and not looking, yeah. the place yeah. is currently. We've had we've SL. had SL t-shirts, <laughs> we've had SL stickers. Fucking ballets, yeah. hoodies, whatever. It's you been know. a it's pleasure having more. you guys on, man. And I honestly, I'm fucking stoked. Three in a row, back to back. How yeah. was that for you, bro? It was Seeing amazing. Different pleasure, people's bro. Perspectives, Seeing you guys yeah. Pleasure, yeah, so many uh, different perspectives, and more so respect. having it all together in the same. Yeah. You know, I, I took some videos of the pieces. We're gonna get that on it. Yeah, yeah, because you know, moving yeah, out, but. Yanko, That's it. Nerks, easy, easy legends stuff, are already cooking up a storm with the sacred letters. Thank you for coming through, boys. Yes, uh, sacred lettering. Thanks, man. Come on, sacred lettering inside the place. Killer Killer There podcast. are other. Yeah, and hold They're... tight, all the other crews. Yeah. Listen, we're not... there's loads of other crews, there's a lot of other crew members in sacred letters. What you got to do is jump on sacred lettering uh, Instagram check and check them out. Get them involved. Get involved. Get yourself a tattoo. Get yourself down to a function. They're going to be doing a load of stuff at uh, the Excel. The Excel uh, Stadium for the uh, convention. Uh, tattoo convention as well. So a bunch of September, things isn't it? September. Yo, pull up. Yeah, exactly. Pull up, get in, tune in, a cop out. Killer Killer Podcast, out like it was out of fashion. We're yeah. doing it over here, all right? And we're doing it for you guys. It's about street culture and more, all right? Stay lucky, people. Yeah. Don't talk to anybody. I won't. Thanks very much, yeah. boys. Uh, Take good letter. Respect. We out, my bang, guys. Bang. Stay lucky, people. Peace. Yeah.